former President Barack Obama is hitting the ground for Kamala Harris in Wisconsin and Michigan. These are two key states in the so-called blue wall. In Wisconsin, early voting got underway today, and those voters joined the more than 19 million Americans who have already cast ballots in person or by mail so far. CBS's Nancy Cordes reports on the long lines at polling places and the applause lines from Harris's high-profile surrogate. The line to vote at the Madison Public Library stretched down the stacks this morning. It'll be processed downtown at the city clerk's office tonight. Retired accountant Donna Wilfong cast her ballot the first hour she could. Do you usually vote early? If it's, I have never, but it's available to us. We took advantage of it because you never know what's going to be on voting day. So we'll just go when we can, which is a good thing. In states that track party affiliation, Democrats have a clear edge in early voting by about 45 percent to 34 percent. But that's still a stronger early showing for Republicans than in recent years, when former President Trump actively discouraged it. This is just a way they're trying to steal the election. Now he's more supportive. Go out and get that ballot, return it as soon as possible. And the Harris campaign, which claims it has knocked on more than a million doors in Wisconsin, is actively encouraging its supporters to vote now. They're having an early voting party on the 24th. And in this state, every vote really does count. Trump won Wisconsin by about 23,000 votes in 2016 and then lost by nearly the same amount in 2020. Hello, Madison! So today, Democratic VP nominee Tim Walls made his own early voting push here and brought one of the party's heaviest hitters with him. If you haven't voted yet, I won't be offended if you just walk out right now. Go vote. Go do it. Recent polls show Trump leading by double digits among men. In an interview this afternoon, Vice President Harris was asked if she thinks sexism is at play. So the experience that I am having is one in which it is clear that Regardless of someone's gender, they want to know that their president has a plan to lower cost, that their president has a plan to secure America in the context of our position around the world. Of course, the gender gap plays both ways. In most polls, Harris leads by double digits among women. And in the states where we have gender data so far, Early voting is heavily tilted towards women, Nora, by about 10 percentage points. Nancy Cordes, thank you very much.